Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Tampa Bay Brewing Company. This is called Quat. And Quat, if you, Quat is a short for Kumquat. If you don't know what Kumquat is, Kumquat is a small, about the size of a large grape, citrus fruit. It has a thin skin, like an orange, but thinner, and you eat it with the, with the peels. There's also low quats, which you cannot eat because they have a big pit in them. So, I've not had this. I don't think I've had anything from Tampa Bay Brewing Company. Very um, florally orangey right off the bat. Very, very light pour. Almost looks like water coming out of the can. Very minimal head that's probably going to dissipate very quickly. Sixteen ounce tall boy cans is going to fill this glass all the way. I want to spill it. Take a first sip. a little more bitter than I was expecting. I was expecting almost sweet. Um, kumquats are a little bit bitter. It's a little bit hazy. There's definitely some uh, sediment and stuff floating around in there. Quite a bit actually. Five percent ABV. It's quite um Bitter's not really the right word. It's almost like sharp. What do we got here for? It says not only... So, the IBUs... One place had no IBUs listed. Another place... I think actually on their website, it said 24 IBUs. I would put this way higher than 24. $9.99 for a four-pack of 16-ounce cans. <clears throat> Uh, it's not bad, I guess. Very cool can. Um, very bright. It's what grabbed my attention. So, good job whoever did the can. Um, yellow, it says Quat in green. Then it has the Kumquats hanging from the branch there. It says Seasonal Fruit Beer. So, this is a fruit ale. Which is probably a fairly simple kind of beer. It, um, you know, it's, it's not, they don't get into all these crazy things they do with some of the other beer to make them a lager or a pilsner. You know, it's, it's an ale is kind of just like beer. Uh, so this season of beer started out as a one-time release for the Dade City Kumquat Festival. And there was so much demand that they decided to bring it back as a yearly seasonal. It was usually released in February. And it's made from a large quantity of kumquats. Very yellow in color. Almost, almost yellow to almost like a peach color. Maybe hard to, to see that. But let's see if I can get on this camera. And hazy. But there's they're bigger chunks than just a hazy beer. There's actually like like particles in there. I don't know if that's the ground up kumquat or if they use kumquat peels or, or zest or This is good. As I'm drinking it, it's kinda of mellowing out or my tongue is my tongue's response is mellowing out a little bit. It's not as I mean it was it was it was like um, Sour Patch Kid Sour. It's more sour than bitter, I guess I would say, was the initial flavor. <clears throat> but as I'm drinking it, it's definitely myelin out. This is, uh, I would say this would be a good on-the-water beer. On the paddleboard in a boat, I can see this being a good boat beer. Pretty refreshing. 5%, you gotta be careful, but not too careful. That is good. And for whatever reason, I guess kind of People are wishing the end of winter would come earlier than it is coming. 
Um, there's a bunch of fruit beers out right now. I have, um, probably do the next three beers I do will be two strawberry beers and a, uh, and Jam Band by Boulevard, which is a berry beer. There's, I think, um, cranberries, raspberries, and blueberries in it. I've never had a beer like that, so I'm looking forward to it. I've had a blueberry beer, which, yeah, you know, blueberry beers, but there's been a couple good ones. Um, like I think Cigar City does a blueberry cobbler or something along those lines is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed how well this beer transformed as I'm drinking it. I really, really dig in the can. And you got in the bottom, it's like, like a watercolor picture. In the bottom you got the rows of the citrus trees, which is pretty cool. And uh, being from you know, living in Florida most of my life. I was born in Rhode Island, but living in Florida most of my life, um, I've seen my fair share of orange trees, and um, I've been in orange groves, ridden my dirt bike through orange groves, that kind of thing. There was this spot I used to ride, and uh, we would just stop and you just eat oranges until you, you know, you eat three, four of them, and until you feel re-energized, and then head on your way. It's kind of fun. And here in Florida too, whenever you're out hiking or anything, you know, a little trail or something like that, they'll come across orange trees, but they're tall. So I think a lot of times in the orange grove, they prune them to keep them short so they're easier to pick. But if you see one in the wild, they have to compete with all the other big trees in the forest, and so they end up growing pretty tall. And some orange trees have nasty thorns on them too, like, like real nasty. So. But yeah, I mean, um, oranges in the in in the wild are, are pretty tasty. Every once in a while, you get one that's real dry or, or um, like it almost like falls apart when you when you break it open. But usually, they're really good. So there's a number of breweries in Tampa: Cigar City, Tampa Bay Brewing, um, Green Bench, J Dubs. So I definitely want to take a, I don't know, maybe like a weekend and and go over there and hit a bunch of these breweries. Maybe shoot some video in the breweries, do some do some tours. I've mentioned this before. Um, it's something I definitely want to do. Maybe this summer, or as the weather gets, the weather's gorgeous right now in Florida. The rest of the country, not so much, but it's pretty good. Um, I would give this beer a 3.75. It, it definitely is a little more than I expected. I didn't expect a whole bunch out of it, and it's it's definitely impressed me above what I expected. Um, but it's kind of a simple beer, so this, I can't really justify giving it a four because it's kind of a simple beer. But yeah, this is pretty good. I would I would I would drink this again. But until next time, cheers.